If you want to understand Brexit and what happened last night, Britain's relationship with the EU, the whole thing, stop. Don't think about that stuff. It's not really about that. This is a global phenomenon. This is a revolt against technocracy and elites telling everybody else what to do. At the end of the day, for the past 20 years, 80% of the people have been told 80% of the time by the top 20% what to do, what to think, and what's good for them. Guess what? They've figured it out. The 20% needs to listen, because if they don't, they're going to find something out. The Hamptons is not a defensible position. I don't know, like, like, okay, okay, okay. It's like they gesture towards, like, like I get it. They, they don't know or they don't have a cohesive, explanatory argument, and that's not just people on the right. It's, it's, um, <laughs> thanks. That's, it's not just people on the right. It's actually people on the left too that actually have a that just have a point and don't know how to explain their argument and that's one of the the steps that i've actually had to take over the last few years before i did most of my youtube shit um but it's like having an argument other than just well it feels good like i want people to actually know that shit and actually take the time to understand their arguments and if they don't know it just like oh it just feels good and like I get it, like, fuck, it's just like, <sighs> I, mm, I hope that people would actually think more about their positions, and um, just, I kind of hope that they would actually be just better and just not, like, I get it. We all have points that we just don't know how to articulate in a in a cohesive na nature or don't know how to say, but just just to actually have a conversation, just to have like, well, my political beliefs are because people told me and I I need to actually just like follow along with it. It's fucking stupid. And I don't think it makes the left any better when you see them use the same tactics that a lot of people on the right wing use. And it just turns into a but my feelings. And like, wow. Wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Um, It's just, it, it leads you to a cults of personalities. And, like, here, here, for example, like this. Let, let's go to this video. Um, This is another. So, if you, God, it should. I don't know if it's the same guy who got the MAGA supporter that says J is for genius, but this is another, this, this is another, um, this is another interview around the inauguration. And, um, we, we get to see more, more MAGA cope. So, um, God damn it. I don't have it for a bit. So... <laughs> Let's do some copium, straight copium. Let's let's do this shit. <sighs> Marjorie Taylor Greene and Josh Hawley, are they heroes? Uh, I, I could not be more proud. That's like when I put my hand over my heart, I'm like, God bless America that these these ones took were standing against just the the stream the onset of, of such corruption and darkness and they lifted their voices in truth i was so proud of joshua holly and these ones um who, who took a stand i'm like a proud patriot because of these ones Woo! whoa 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. let's 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 cut someone oh that's some good shit this motherfucker, 
This motherfucker literally says because of Josh Holly, Marjorie Taylor Greene, that she's a proud fuck. She's a proud fucking patriot. Never mind they for a minute uh, insurrection against government. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, that coping is good. Fuck yes. Oh, can we get some more, please? What do we think about Bobert, Holly, and like Marjorie Taylor Greene, like Josh Holly? Uh, to be honest, I am a South African. I can't even vote. I'm not Democratic or Republican. I had a dream from God to be here and to pray for revival for your nation. It's not really about what I think; it's about what He thinks. Okay, so you, so you're, you're, you're a South African citizen, and you came here to support Trump. I came here to preach the gospel, and I saw people get out of wheelchairs during COVID. But during that time, I had a dream that I was sitting in the White House in the Oval Office with President Trump, and God showed me the spirit of the Lord that had come on President Trump. And I saw Lady Gaga singing at in the inauguration in, on 5 April 2020. God showed me that in a dream already, and then I knew. And the, but but. Lady Gaga turned into Carrie Joe, which is a famous worship leader, and a revival broke out. And that's why I'm here praying for that dream to manifest. And I've had a. I want what she has. Fuck. She is on some good shit. Oh, God. How strong is the shit that she's on? Wait, 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 wait. Whew. Wow, how strong is the shit that she's on? Fuck. Hmm. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Shit. Oh. God. Oh, God. Like, it's funny. How can she be a patriot? Like, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I know I just said about people who come to the country are more patriotic than some people who've actually lived in the country. But, like, wow. Wow, that just challenged the axiom that I just set. Wow. Wow. Fuck. Do I get... But do it not count because she is literally probably on some shit? Wow. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> they were singing at the inauguration and Lady Gaga became somebody else. Oh, wow. Wow. Let, let's continue. A bunch of follow-up dreams from then, but that's when I started realizing God has chosen President Trump, whether you feel like he's a donkey, a Cyrus, or a Moses, or whoever in this hour, it doesn't really matter, but the Lord showed me that he wants to use President Trump to bring revival, and so I'm standing with him, and I believe him for four more years. Wow! Wow! When, when was this done? It was premiered on January the 21st. Hmm... I don't think that's happening, Chief. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. L let's continue. It's not over yet. Even when Jesus was on the cross, his own followers and those closest to him cried and thought that it was over, but it wasn't over. It's not over yet. He he's playing chess right now. He's playing chess, and I do believe that... There is still going to be a, a big revival that's going to come out of this. I do believe, as the word says, that everything that's in darkness will come into the light. I've already started seeing some of the Epstein photos with some of the senators and governors on there with little children. It's all going to come out into the light. I believe what is in darkness will be exposed. And the very gallows that Haman set up to hang God's people is going to come back and bite him in the butt. Whoa. Fuck. Whoa. Like. 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 Quiet is kept. No, it's not fucking quiet is kept. Trump used to party with Epstein. He literally has a fucking video where he says, well, Epstein, or, or it's a quote or whatever the fuck. Epstein's, we share the same like in women, although he likes them a little bit younger than I do. Like, fuck. We do. Fuck. <laughs> no, 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 cat. Playing Trump is like playing Trump is like playing chess with pigeons that have already shit on the board. 
Kurt, Holly, Marjorie Taylor Greene, are they heroes? Well, they stood up for the president, who's been getting railroaded for four years. Uh, they stood up for the truth. They stood up for against... Uh... Wait, fuck. Wait, like... Fuck. Okay, okay. Like, he's such a great and strong, charismatic leaders, leader. Trump was. But he's always getting picked on by Democrats. Like, like, I, I and I, I fucking give it to Cat and Chat. She actually came up with it. Schrodinger, Schrodinger's leftists. They're so fucking weak and they need to motherfucking, they, you know what? You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I, I shouldn't have said that because animals are innocent. We should be specious. Never use the name of an animal for insult as a human. But fuck, like this. These are Schrodinger's leftists, where they're like obviously, obviously so strong, so insurmountable with strength that they are oppressing and 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 and, 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 and demonizing and crushing the right but they're weak and unmanly or like uh, wow wow <sighs> okay okay let's let's hear this gentleman out and i want to make fun of him about his choice in shirt or how it fits but like i'm nowhere near like fuck i'm nowhere near the capability of job talking about him fuck but like yeah like, does it say anything that his fucking stomach goes out further than his hat? Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I'm being bad. Let's let's go. Uh, uh, election fraud. Now, when you ask are they heroes, I mean, I don't know exactly why you're asking me that question. One of those people tried to seemingly tried to bring a handgun into the into Congress. I'm glad she's carrying around color. I don't know what the laws are for a congressman on Capitol Hill, but people who stand up like that and say what they mean, say what wait, they mean. Wait, 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 wait. Did he? Did he just? Did he just praise her? Let, let, let's go back. Let's go back. I did not miss that, did I? All right, let's, let's hear this. Marjorie Taylor Greene, are the heroes? Well, they stood up for the president, who's been getting railroaded for four years. Uh, they stood up for the truth. They stood up for against uh, uh, election fraud. Now, when you ask are they heroes, I mean, I don't know exactly why you're asking me that question. One of those people tried to seemingly tried to bring a handgun into the into Congress. I'm glad she's carrying around color. I don't know what the laws are for a congressman on Capitol Hill, but people who stand up like that and say what they mean, say what they mean and mean what they say is a rare commodity in this town and always has been. So on that level, that level of brutal honesty, I will call them heroic because of. Okay, okay. Telling people how it is, one, isn't always being honest. Two, isn't. We have this horrible thing, and maybe it goes to. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Middle age wears well, though. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But we have this thing in, in our popular zeitgeist of the culture that. If we're brutally honest, it's truth. We're, no, in a lot of cases, it's just you being an asshole. Like, that's what it is. Like, I mean, like, I, and people want to run away from that to say, no, I'm just being truthful. No, you're being an asshole. Like, that's not what truth is. Like, and even if you are, quote unquote, hashtag telling just to tell the truth, a lot of these motherfuckers are doing it with such malice and such venom in their fucking words. Do you really think people are fucking listening to you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. How? But let, let's continue. That saying what needs to be said, even if there's a potential devastating price to be paid. That is heroic. Oh, shit. But wait, 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 wait. There's more! 
Let's talk about the rhinos in the Republican Party. Is Mitch McConnell one of the rhinos? <laughs> Our friend again. Oh, fuck. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Our friend again. You know, I prayed for 2020 vision and I thought it was going to be flowers and roses, but it was eyes to see clearly that there's corruption on both parties, unfortunately. And I do believe that God is raising up a patriotic party and that there are true patriots in the Republican Party. But yeah, Mitch McConnell, um, several others who I, I was shocked at their, what they had to say um, on the 6th. Um, that th they weren't willing to look into the hundreds of thousands of documents, of affidavits, of election fraud with the foreign interference. I mean, it's it's mind blowing that they weren't even willing to look into it. Um, now, mind you, mind you, mind you, these are the motherfuckers that was bitching on Democrats, bitching on the fucking liberals, talking about why are you talking about Russia, 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 Russia. These are the motherfuckers. Wow. Fuck! Wow! They were talking about how how dare you bring up the Steele dossier and shit like that. And here's a fun fact. Did you know you can do an affidavit for shit that's totally false and, and wrong? And so we have I don't know, this part of our constitution that literally allows you to cross-examine your accuser. You know what you can't cross-examine? An affidavit. You know what an affidavit actually does? It, it puts you in legal bind to come and testify. And you know what happens with those affidavits that happen with all of those affidavits? You know what happens? You know what happens? When it comes time to call them to court, you know what doesn't happen? Fuck. Let's continue. After years of supporting Trump and him fighting for them. Yeah, so basically, there's two sides. A lot of people are saying that, well, we're going to primary all the rhinos in the next election, but then everyone else is saying we're going to no, start a not. Patriot Party. Right. We're going to leave the Republican Party. Yeah, and that's, it's an interesting stance to take. Please do. Please do. Please do. One, because it would fucking destroy the Patriot Party. It would just destroy the Republican party, but they're not because most of the Republicans are literally, I need a strong man. And so they're going to follow the leader regardless of what, and it would give Jimmy Dore his wonderful, wonderful experiment where it doesn't cost Democrats anything. We just let the Republicans destroy themselves and we see how, um, uh, if, um, uh, effective that is to start our own party by splitting a new party but fuck let's continue fuck um but the thing is is that for the longest time the republicans you know here we have the whole faith-based movement who support pro-life who support uh, many of the republican pillars and so um the patriot pil uh, party I, I think trump was a wrecking ball to the corruption and to the swamp and he did expose the swamp for what it really is and he filled it and built more on it and added a, f a dozen more swap monsters. Like, wow, like, wh fuck, what? Let's listen to you. So um, I, I believe that there's such a passionate Trump base now that it would be interesting to see a Patriot Party arise and what could come about of it. Because I'll tell you, four years ago, I, I was making fun of Trump as well. But then when I began to see his true colors, not what the media made him out to be, but when I saw how he was fighting for America, for the globe, for life, I mean, I could go on 50 levels deep. Uh, I will support him till my dying breath. <laughs> Did she do a full notice me senpai on Trump? Fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. She did a notice me senpai on Trump. Okay. Okay. She will support Trump to her dying breath. Good thing you weren't at the Capitol on the 6th. Just saying. Fuck. Let, let's continue.
Got it. Yeah, and so there's still there's still time. Like he's playing chess right now. Yes. There's multiple pieces on this chessboard, and from uh, a few sources, they're saying things have got to play out the way they are playing out right now, um, in order for the corruption to be exposed the way it has to be exposed. So may Trump moves in mysterious way. I mean, God moves in mysterious way. Oh, fuck. Is there any difference between this woman's mind between God and Trump? Like, let's just be honest. But let's let's many people still have hope that it's not over yet. Yeah. So I am keeping an open mind and uh, I'm very well. Uh, I have friends on the inside um, with General Flynn, like Lindell. I mean, so many who are still standing with the president. So there's still hope. What are your what are your opinions on Mitch McConnell? Uh, <laughs> Mitch McConnell has long been. Well, he's been swimming in the swamp for a long time now, hasn't he? And I don't disagree with that. I don't. I don't. Like, I don't disagree with that, but fuck, let's continue. See a, you, see, certainly, see, a, see a rhino? Well, I've been rethinking this. I used to refer to Republicans who did unscrupulous things as rhino and na Republican in name only. I'm increasingly beginning to think that the rhinos are the Republican Party. And as some people are beginning to say, Trump very likely was the first successful third party presidential candidate. In the fuck. I, he took one step forward and 1600 steps back. Like how? Fuck. Wait. He realized, he realized that yes, the people that he would call rhinos when they were doing shit that he liked they weren't rhinos, they're Republicans. But when they doing shit that they don't like, then they're rhinos. But now he realized that, fuck, they may be. Hold on, wait a minute. News fucking flash. The Republicans may be for corporations. What? What? Oh shit, the Republicans may be for more corporate interests than anything whatsoever. Fuck. Let's continue. The history of the United States. And any number of establishment Republicans. Wait, wait, let's go back. I want to hear that shit. I'm sorry. And as some people are beginning to say, Trump very likely was the first successful third party presidential candidate in the history of the United States. No, he wasn't. No. Oh, God. We used to have the Federalists and Anti-Federalists, the Whigs, and, like, the GOP isn't, a, isn't an original, originalist party. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Uh. These people that don't know fucking history whatsoever. Uh, uh, let's continue. And any number of establishment Republicans, not only not supporting, but actually hamstringing and trying to put a bullet in the head of a sitting Republican president who has committed no crime. So the, the, whole, par the whole party is a rhino party. They've, they've strayed. There are a lot of Republicans who are part of what I have increasingly heard called the Uniparty. If Trump can't run again in 2024, how do we hold Democrats responsible and punish them for what they did? In the midst of deep censorship, we need to bind together. I believe that just as the Israelites had a Red Sea moment when their back was against the Red Sea and Pharaoh was chasing them, I believe our generation of conservatives are going to have our own Red Sea moment, so to speak, where God is going to do the impossible and part the waters for us, so to speak. But I believe that we will get a strategy um, personally going forward. Um, we need to continue to lift our voices and not allow censorship to get in the way. I think the censorship has, has really discouraged a lot of people from truly um, sharing their beliefs and continuing to get the word out about what they know to be true. Yeah. Wait, what the? Who is censoring these motherfuckers? You okay? Okay, so check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Be very honest with you guys. Nobody is censoring them. You know what's happening? You know the reason why you see corporations like Twitter, or Facebook removing these right wing motherfuckers? You really want to know the reasons why? You want to know the reasons why Amazon actually deplatformed Parler? 
it wasn't for censorship. They were happy to take those motherfuckers money when they were making money. And it like, no, they are happy to do that shit. You want to know the real reason why? It's because you can't fucking plot plans on a fucking public fucking forum and expect that company not to worry about losing money over revenue, over ads, over revenue, over, I don't know, being allowed to exist by supporting a fucking insurrectionist criminal fucking movement. You can say whatever the fuck you want about any of this other shit, but the moment you start causing liability to these companies, the same shit that motherfucking Trump wanted to increase the risk of liability by getting rid of the 230. Fuck. This is the reason why. They didn't just want to say, oh, we're just going to ban these motherfuckers. No, they were worried about their liability. They were worried about their fucking liability. That's what was going wrong. That's why they took down all these people's posts. They were worried about their fucking liability. It was not just, and I know you have the media, it's like people on the left wing, and I said too, that they were worried about losing their corporate board. Like, yes, that's the that's the least amount of shit that they have to worry about looking bad, losing their public image. But if they are actively supporting, actively or passively supporting crime, they could literally lose their platform. They could literally lose their platform. And I'm sorry, fuck. This is the reason why websites have TOS. This is the reason why you see the, the like, and it's only so much that they can actually go. If January the 6th didn't happen, no, Trump wouldn't have been removed off the fucking Twitter. But the fact is, when you start commissioning crimes, companies get batshit scared. And it's like, oh shit, this can blow back on us. Not just for PR reasons, not just for, you know, I'm going to lose advertisements. And yes, it's a far Long stretch, but they don't even want to risk putting their business in at risk at all. Like, God damn it. Like, do you guys not see? Do you not see? Should they do more things to take more legal shit down? Yes. And, like, especially with, like, some of these sites, like, it, no, like, they are worried that, you know, hey, and, and, and if you're on the left wing and you want to say, well, they may use that censorship against us, yes! You know why they may use it against some of the most extreme parts of the left wing? Because once you start plotting shit illegal... Then they say, oh shit, we can become liable for this. Now, granted, do they use that hammer more heavily on just political speak? Yes. Do they use that shit on, like, do they do it and they have a fear of what we may not seem as inciting violence, but they may seem inciting violence? Yes. But, like, when it comes down to it, Corporations are chicken shit scared about things. <sighs> fuck. <sighs> like, fuck. Like, it, this is a point that I want to make. And not that I'm sticking up for corporations. Fuck corporations. F fuck capitalism. But, like, people miss this point that it's like, yeah, not only could you, like, not lose protection, you can actually be liable for that shit. Ask Alex Jones about platforming uh, uh, conspiracy theories that actually can get people hurt. Ask him about that shit. Well, let's continue. Yeah, how do we punish the Democrats in 2024? You primary every single Republican who had the least bit to do with this. Uh, nobody's seat should be safe. Or no, nobody's seat should be un, 
un, unchallenged, you know, anywhere in Congress and even even at the state legislature levels. Yeah, because I've, there's been a lot of talk uh, when I go to a lot of these rallies, they talk about you know, let's form a Patriot Party. Everyone, a lot of Trump supporters are really done with the Republican Party, and it's like, all right, let's form a Patriot Party. But at the same time, we're everyone's saying, well, let's pro everyone's getting a primary challenge. The Lindsey Grahams, the Mitt Romneys, all that. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Starting a third, fourth, fifth, sixth party. I mean, there's there's a Libertarian Party, there's a Constitution. But starting a party is difficult. Who knows? I mean, Trump might be the guy who can do it. He's already been president. I mean, he's not Ross Perot. He's not John Anderson. The man has been president. He got more votes than any other president in the history, including Obama and 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 and. and yeah, phenomenal number of us. Except for Joe Biden. Like, let's let's see. Let, let's see. He's gotten more votes than any other person as far as president. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Watch this. Watch this. Last time I checked, eighty-one million is more than 74 million. I don't know, it's it's numbers? It's numbers, but I, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. And if, I think what, 69 million Twitter followers? I mean, well he did, I don't know how he's gonna, I don't know how that's gonna be replaced, you replace that, and, there, and there, there, there's tens of millions of Americans who wanna know what he wants to do and what needs to be done for this country. If there's going to be a man in the history of the United States that could start a third party, it's going to be Donald Trump. All right. All right. All right. So, guys, I've, I, we did a double feature of MAGA Tears, MAGA Cope. It was um, wonderful. Shit. I'm going to be high for a while. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. These people are fucking delusional. And this is not to write them off. And one of the things that I don't want to do, I don't want to write these people off as far as, oh, they're stupid, they can never learn and shit like that. I really want, again, going back to agreeing on solutions, not just problems. We really want to reach out to these motherfuckers because as you guys just saw, there were 74 million motherfuckers out there that believe some sort of this shit. And quite frankly, the libs are not gonna do reach out because they're still on those. Those are evil people. And we should, as leftists, actually try to reach out and provide solutions, not just, ah, this is your problem. Because our arguments should be better than that. And I wanna say, speaking of arguments, I hope you've liked my points and arguments that I've actually made. If you would be so kind to like, share, subscribe, hit that fucking notification bell at the fucking bottom if you do subscribe to let you know of when I release a video or do a live stream. I tend to try to live stream at about 7 p.m., um, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday, through uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And um, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, links are all it's on my social media in the description. And you guys have a good night.